this Jewish holiday has many different names, but Shavuot is known to most Christians as Pentecost. When Christians think of Pentecost, they probably think of the uh, uh, description in the Book of Acts and the New Testament uh, and the uh, infusing of the Holy Spirit, um, which we in Hebrew call Ruach HaKodesh. That's the Hebrew term for Holy Spirit uh, uh, upon people. For Jews, of course, it has a different meaning. And for us, it's an annual celebration of the biblical feast uh, where we thank God for our material blessings. And secondly, the motif of the giving of the Ten Commandments and the Torah at Sinai. It really has a number of names. Pentecost is the Greek for 50 because it takes place 50 days after uh, Passover. And in Hebrew, it's called Shavuot, meaning weeks, because it takes place seven weeks after Passover. It also has the name of Chag HaBikurim and Chag HaKatsir, which means festival of the first fruit and festival of the harvest. The main theme of the holiday was the agricultural motif. Uh, Jews farmed the land and brought the first fruit, which means that they acknowledged God's beneficence to them in the material world uh, by providing them with that first fruit and with that harvest. And so the commandment on this holiday is to rejoice with our physical blessings, but to acknowledge them as having been given to us by God. Over the centuries, this festival of first fruit has developed into a celebration of the Ten Commandments. If you take a look at the dates and the, uh, the timing in the Bible, what you see very clearly is that this holiday took place 50 days after the coming out of Egypt, and that is exactly the same date that God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses on Mount Sinai. The combining of Passover and Shavuot brings a deeper meaning to the Jewish faith. The Jewish people were redeemed from Egypt in a physical sense on uh, Passover, and we were liberated at that time physically. But we don't have a true liberation unless we are in servitude to God, and that is uh, what took place on Sinai. In fact, we count the days, like a, a, uh, a groom will count the days until he gets married. Um, uh, so too, we long for the day when we will celebrate the receiving of the Torah, of the, of the uh, Ten Commandments on Sinai. Before the destruction of the Jewish temple, Jews would travel to Jerusalem and give a sacrificial offering of an omer of barley. Today, the festival is celebrated by honoring God's creation and reading the Torah. The way it's celebrated today is while we, we bring uh, agricultural items into the synagogue, flowers, plants, greenery, uh, to, to, to remind ourselves of how in ancient times this was an agricultural uh, holiday, but mainly it's celebrated by staying up all night studying the Torah. Shavuot teaches Jewish believers to be thankful for God's provision and for the roots of their faith. And in learning about Pentecost, Christians can understand the roots of their faith. Christians relate as well to this whole uh, idea of uh, Shavuot and Pentecost. Christians uh, in New Testament, Romans 9 to 11, are described as having been grafted into this rich olive tree of Israel and of the seed, the spiritual uh, seed of Abraham. And so certainly the Ten Commandments is at the core of uh, the Christian's understanding of uh, his and her relationship with God and their relationship with the world. We share that common uh, vision of morality and of values, what is sometimes referred to as the Judeo-Christian ethic. Um, this stems from Sinai. This stems from God's revelation at a particular time in history to a particular people and that is eternal.